In this week's Nonsense Wars production, I want to talk about GBC shared power. These kinds of systems aim to power multiple modules with a single motor, uh, perhaps increasingly desirable as LEGO motors have gotten more expensive with the replacement of power functions with powered up. Unfortunately, a common shared power standard does not exist. Uh, I will recap my own ideas and look at a new element. Each of my shared power modules has a 10 length beam on both ends, five plates off the ground. I've offset them such that neighboring beams sit two studs apart when modules sit end to end. This provides space for a coupling flange on the center drive shaft coming out of both sides of every module. I put a male coupler, uh, typically a pulley with pins, on the front and a female coupler, uh, typically a knob gear, on the back and these turn at a fifth of the speed of an M motor. Pin joiners at the edges of the coupling beam connect adjacent modules. These don't provide any structural integrity, but they should not need to. The wide spacing allows me to replace the coupling flanges with gear stages if some modules can't run at one to five. While this did happen with the Vertical Stepper 2.1, I would instead like to build internal reduction going forward as with the wave rocker. Each module can provide or receive shared power uh, depending on whether it has a motor installed. All modules can still run standalone if desired. Theoretically, in a very long chain, I can add additional motors along the way, but in practice, I don't think I would do this. If one module in a shared power block jams, it will jam the entire block. So if I use multiple motors, I might as well make several shared power blocks. Now, some of the very tall modules, uh, mostly those that need to operate as part of a larger module, like the extensible tower or the extensible chain lift, can have trouble emptying directly into a short module. Balls can spill from having too much forward speed and or too much potential energy. Typically, I would dissipate this energy using ramps, but with shared power, I need to transmit power as well Thus, enter shared power ramps. These supports replace the bases of my previous ramp system in order to pass said shared power. Uh, they have similar fittings as the modules themselves, but as a trade-off, they can't have the rubber tires for grip. Connecting them to actual modules, uh, even at the end of a shared power block, uh, should prevent them from moving around, but the standalone use case will, of course, suffer a bit. I built one base with right angle connectors and another base with a pivoting connector, though there may be other more useful geometries. The right angle base can go straight or turn 90 degrees, and it has a long and a short side. This allows the ramp topper to pivot when connected on the short side and remain fixed when connected on the long side. The pivoting base can also go straight or turn up to about 30 degrees. On both variants, I can still attach actual ramps to the toppers in order to bridge gaps in layouts, etc. 
So that pretty much covers everything I've thought about for shared power so far. I'm happy enough with it to document it as is, but I'm sure I'll have to play with it more in the future, and that probably won't happen until physical shows come back. I need to see how useful it is in practice, and honestly, the increasing availability of cheap knockoff motors might make it too much trouble anyway. On that note, this is the end of the video, so have a nice day.